Adopting a retired police dog has its perks, especially if you're a woman living in Detroit. That's what Samantha thought. But nothing turned out as planned when she went to use the ATM and a menacing man stood in her way. It all happened in an instant, but what her dog did amazed her. Welcome to Wonderbot Animals. In Detroit, danger is always lurking around every corner, and Samantha had had her fair share of encounters that she wanted to forget. As a single young woman, she was probably the prime target for most of the people who roamed the streets with bad intentions in mind. To make matters worse, her boyfriend left her and kicked her out of the house. Unfortunately, her finances weren't great, so she was forced to move to one of the worst neighborhoods in town. It's one of those situations in life where you can't change your situation right away, so you have to make the most of it and withstand the things life throws your way. That's not easy, though. Since she had moved to the neighborhood, she had been robbed twice, and people often followed and heckled her. One time, she was almost kidnapped, and she only managed to escape because she carried pepper spray with her. Long story short, Amanda felt very unsafe, and there was nothing she could do to move to a better neighborhood. At least, not yet. Fortunately for her, the perfect solution was presented to her on a silver platter and from a very unexpected source. One day, Samantha decided to go to the local animal shelter. She was feeling a bit lonely, so she wanted to see if she could find a cat to adopt. However, her attention was immediately drawn to another animal. A police officer came through the door with an older-looking German Shepherd. Samantha overheard the employee tell her that he was a retired police dog and that the animal needed a new home since no one at the station wanted to care for her. When Samantha heard all this, she thought that the dog could solve both her problems at the same time. She interrupted the police officer, introduced herself, and explained her situation. She begged him to let her adopt the dog. And the police officer had no problem with that. He didn't even seem to care about the story. He just wanted to get rid of the dog. Samantha found that to be a little strange, but she was too happy to care. The dog's name was Raven. And from the first few minutes she walked with her by her side, she felt people looked at her differently. There was no one calling her name or approaching her. And when someone whistled and she stopped walking, they immediately apologized. Samantha felt that with Raven by her side, she had a superpower of some kind. She felt untouchable and safer than she had ever felt since she had moved to that neighborhood. Seems like things were finally looking up. Once they arrived home, Samantha introduced Raven to her new home. But the animal didn't seem all that impressed. The dog's tail stayed low as she sniffed everything in the home, as if she were looking for something. Some habits do die hard. At night, Raven was restless, and Samantha could hear her walking around the house, even with her door closed. In the morning, she was fully asleep on the couch. It was strange, but... Maybe the dog was on standard duty at night, back when she was a police dog, so she was used to the inverted schedule. Samantha had to try and introduce a new routine, though, because she wanted the dog to be able to accompany her during the day, too. So Samantha decided to stay home and wait for Raven to wake up again before going out. The prospect of going out alone terrified her, even though she had done so for the past two months. But she was right to wait, as she would need Raven that night. When the afternoon rolled around, the dog was awake again and full of energy. Great timing, because Samantha needed to withdraw money from a nearby ATM, and she felt very unsafe every time she had to do that. For good reason. That was one of the places where she had been robbed before, and she knew that many other people got robbed there as well. It was very easy for the criminals because there were no cameras around, and police had done nothing about all the reports that had been made about the issue. There was no other ATM in the area, though, so Samantha and everyone else in the neighborhood didn't have much of a choice but to keep using it. When she and Raven approached the ATM, there was no one standing in line, just a couple of people around. They were probably waiting for someone to make a withdrawal worth stealing, but Samantha felt safe with Raven by her side, and the dog was on high alert as they approached the ATM, so no one got close to them. As she walked away from the ATM, Samantha felt eyes on her, 
and saw that Raven kept looking back. It was clear someone was following them, but Samantha kept walking. She felt safe with Raven there, but she did hurry back home. When she was approaching her house, three men with hoods over their heads walked toward her, and they didn't look friendly at all. Samantha froze and drew Raven close to her. At first, the dog didn't do anything, but as the men got closer, Raven began to growl and bare her teeth at them. The men quickly crossed the street and walked away. Samantha was very relieved, and when they got home, she gave Raven extra treats. Who knows what would have happened to her if Raven hadn't been there. This almost made Samantha forget her strange behavior from the night before. Now, before we continue, don't forget to give this video a like to help it reach 10k, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. For the next few nights at Samantha's home, Raven's behavior was basically the same. She was very active at night, and whenever she heard police sirens around, it felt like she was waiting to be picked up. This made Samantha a little sad for the dog, but she hoped that Raven would get used to her new home, and she did her best to make the dog comfortable. One night, it was time to withdraw money again, so Samantha headed to the ATM with Raven in tow. When they got to the ATM, there were two people there. One was withdrawing money, and the other was waiting patiently behind. Samantha wasn't interested in standing there and being an easy target, so she decided to take a short walk around the block while the other people used the ATM. When she returned, the ATM was empty, except for a man standing a few feet away from it with his hood over his head. Samantha hesitated, but finally decided to go anyway. As she approached the ATM, Raven was unsure at first. She was on alert and seemed very interested in the man, sniffing intensely in his direction. After she finished withdrawing her money, Samantha quickly put it in her purse so that the man wouldn't realize exactly how much she had. It wasn't much, but she needed every dollar to pay the rent. The entire time Samantha was using the ATM, Raven had her eyes on the man. Suddenly, he began to approach them. Samantha's heart began to pound in her chest, but Raven wasn't doing anything. She didn't want to move, and Samantha didn't want to leave her behind. She tried calling Raven's name, and that got the dog's attention. Then Raven started growling at the man, who was behaving very strangely. If he wanted to rob her, he wasn't doing a very good job. Eventually, Samantha had enough, and gave Raven's leash a very hard tug. Raven finally realized that she wanted to leave and obeyed. But the strange man came running in Samantha's direction. He was very fast, and Samantha screamed in shock. She tried to run away, but the man blocked her way. Please, she cried out. I don't have much. Please don't hurt me. She held her purse and Raven's leash tightly, hoping Raven would come to her senses and do something to scare the man away. But she didn't. She just growled at the man but not like before when she scared away the three other men. Meanwhile, the man just stood there. Was he waiting for someone? Samantha knew that she had to get out of there quickly. She didn't want to find out what that man was up to. She turned away, but the man quickly rushed to face her again. Whenever she moved, he moved to block her path, and he even got closer to her. Samantha stepped back. And when she saw that the man stayed put, she figured it was a good chance to run. She was about to do that when Raven moved forward to approach the man. Samantha pulled the leash tight, but that only made things worse. Raven started whining and pulling to get closer to the man. Raven pulled so hard that the leash flew out of Samantha's hand and she screamed. She didn't want her dog to hurt the man, only scare him enough for them to go back home. What was Raven doing? But instead of attacking the man, the dog did something really shocking. She ran up to the man and jumped into his arms. The man was laughing and caught Raven with ease. Raven started licking the man's face and his sweatshirt fell down, revealing a very ordinary old man. That's my dog, the man said. And he put Raven on the ground and ordered her to lie down. Without hesitation, Raven immediately lay down on the ground. My name is Greg, the man finally said. I'm a former police officer. 
I retired early. Raven was my partner, but I couldn't take her with me because I had a job to do at the time. Samantha was stunned. That explained why Raven was so interested in the man. Apparently, the man had seen Raven and Samantha around and recognized the dog. He didn't want to scare Samantha by approaching her, so he decided to lay low. He clearly failed at that. It turns out that the man just wanted to hug Raven one last time because he was very fond of her. They decided to set up a coffee date to speak in the light of day. And that's when Samantha confirmed that he didn't have any ill intentions. It went so well that she agreed to meet with him two or three times a week so he could stay in touch with Raven. And you can imagine how excited the dog was about that. Can you believe how things turned out? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel for more. Until next time.